morning, Litchfield Max, and welcome back to another video. If y'all don't know, that's an orange and new black reference. If you don't, then you know now. So today I just came from my nearest Hyundai and I just got my car updated to support this whole new like anti-theft system Hyundai is pointing out and this whole logic system. It's called like an anti-theft logic thing and I'm a, I don't really know the whole name of it, but I'm just gonna call it like a new anti-theft update. So I got that brand new Elantra DLC and this is supposed to prevent all of the latest TikTok Hyundai Kia trends that have been going on within the cars. My car is a 2017 Elantra and it has an actual as you can see a key here that actually starts the car there's no push button ignition and so yeah i took the time out of my day like let's say three hours like i told me it's gonna be 90 minutes but it took three hours to get my car updated and thankfully hyundai is doing something here to actually somewhat prevent these cars from getting stolen because it almost felt like as if the only solution here was to get the old steering wheel club and it seems like the Kia boys and all of them have already figured out how to get rid of that. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what this update does and how it prevents the car from, you know, just being taken right off the bat. And I'm sorry if I can't actually have like an outside thing because it's actually number one windy. And number two, my other tripod apparently has broken and I need to get a new one. So yeah, let's stop the talking and let's get right into this thing. So what I thought was going to be actually kind of cool to see was that when you turn off the car, the actual, there's an actual like a mobilizer light right on the dash on certain models or like depending on what, you know, state you're in. If you're in Canada and you have a Kia or a Hyundai, it is like a car with a key thing and that means like it's a mobilizer in it. And I kind of wish they did kind of put that on a dash somehow, but if they can't, that's just, you know, some technical thing that I don't know that they can't do. But I got confused because once I got my car back from the advisor, I got in my car and I tested it and then I realized it wasn't working. And apparently for some reason with the update, the car has to wait 30 seconds after the button is locked by the actual remote. So let me show y'all exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna turn the car off. Car is fully off. And let's say in a sense we get out the car, close the door. And now with the remote, we're gonna lock it. And what's that about? What's like maybe three seconds? Oh, it's not off the lights, oh wow, okay. And we try to put the key in. After that, the car can just still be taken like that but like i said notice the whole 30 second thing now as you can see a 30 second timer happening and then when i do it i'm gonna try to hit the alarm as well three two oh all right car's locked now let's wait for this thing to hit zero all right so we're now over 30 seconds and like we said before the car you know when we're trying to start it it was before the 30 seconds has happened so now we're probably about let's say almost 40 45 seconds in now let's try to start the car and see what it does as you can see it is not doing anything at all and the alarm is still going and that's the funny part the alarm is still going <laughs> hopefully y'all can hear me and it turned off the lights okay all right stop 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 you're okay you're okay, little car. Wow, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually impressive. But yeah, that used, as you can see, you know, if I go back in, put the key back in, car starts right up like that. Now, that really answers everyone's question, and the big question around it is if, if someone locks the car, and well, now after that 30 second timer, they attempt to unlock it without the remote, will the car still start because i really want to see like if they find a way into the car let's say the window is down and they press this unlock button will the car just kind of give itself away we're going to set the timer again and we're going to go for another 30 seconds so three two one go all right the, the car is locked i don't want to cause too much noise and stuff and people call the police or whatever car is locked all right we go so now we're gonna press the button on the car the car should not do anything hopefully uh, would you look at that <laughs> they actually did something that's cool so the car won't start even if you press the button from the inside like y'all can hear me pressing the button i don't know why i keep on spamming it but i wonder like if they were to somehow because like you know newer cars they have like this whole thing right here if they were to somehow pop this lock okay door is unlocked doesn't doesn't technically mean that this is the entire car is unlocked so if they open the door ah, and then let's try to take it now wow can't even take the thing now can't even start it can't even start it and once again we start her up okay a lot of tests that has been through this <laughs> i know hyundai hq was on the ass is trying to make sure these cars don't get stolen again 
Wow, impressive. Well, um, I am very impressed. I'm surprised they did this without, you know, the likes of an actual immobilizer and stuff, and they actually upgraded the systems because before, I could promise you, this car didn't have from like just some general testings, even outside of the current train and stuff, it didn't really have any sort of way to kind of protect itself, I felt like, but they have obviously they've done the work here like this is a lot of good good stuff hyundai has done now i want to try one more thing and of course that is kind of going to be a little bit insignificant because the whole thing with this whole update is that the purpose is that the remote that of course comes with your car should be the one that is allowed to you know you know kind of give the car the notion that it can start or cannot start so if you were to of course open up this door and not lock the car with the remote and lock it like that from what hyundai is saying that it doesn't really do anything and the car can still after that 30 seconds can still be taken now i didn't really set a timer so i'm gonna wait until the stopwatch hits 12 and i'm gonna try again i'm pretty sure whatever system or cam system can system is in here is like <laughs> you know um we can still be taken you know and remember the other thing these lights remember when i hit the actual button these lights were ready to go out but now that i hit the unlock the car from the in inside and close it all right, we're hitting 12. Let's try this one more time. So remember, like I, get, like I said, the car was locked from the button on the inside and it's been over 45 minutes now. Now let's try to see if it can go. Yeah, it can still be taken like that. Now I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna go outside the car, wait 30 seconds, and then try to unlock the car with just the key and then see if that does anything. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna do anything, but I would just like to see if it does. Now I'll go outside the car, set this timer, and I'll see you in a second. Well, the alarm obviously isn't ringing and the car starts. So yeah, if you unlock it with the key, then the car is still smart enough to understand that. But of course, the real important thing here is the remote. Now in this last test, I'm gonna do an actual panic alarm. So let's say you actually hit the red button on the back. That's the, the button. And let's see what the car does, even though the car is still unlocked and this button is pressed. So let's ring the alarm. All right. doesn't really do anything all right so that concludes this test in my opinion if you still have a car that has a key ignition and you haven't gotten this update i say still go with it i mean for the like the test that hyundai have done with the whole button which was really the whole big issue kind of or like question people were trying to ask i don't feel like they kind of missed over a key couple of things now the only thing i kind of say is that i don't really like the timer as much i wish it was maybe like 15 seconds i really wish it was like not existing at all because what the whole thing is that once the car is locked the car has 30 seconds until it kind of arms itself and prevents it from being stolen but the thing is like if you lock the car you're technically outside of the car so you really wouldn't be in the car unless to unlock the car again to of course start the car i do kind of wish the 30 seconds was kind of reconsidered to at least down to 15 or whatever technical reason hyundai might have behind the whole 30 seconds thing i'm not sure but overall from the job that it does it does its job and it was kind of confusing at first because i just thought it would be like you lock the car immediately and the car should prevent itself from being stolen and so the whole process that i've done was pretty much just call up my nearest hyundai um ask them if they were supporting of course the whole software update please make sure you check your vehicle because they might not support it yet i say w hyundai for at least getting customers some sort of you know remedy to kind of prevent this whole issue from going on because it's now starting to happen in my hometown and i don't really have to want to deal with my car being stolen so please i cannot stress it enough please 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 get this update if you have to that's gonna be it for this video um thank you guys for watching consider subscribing i have another video coming out soon and yeah that concludes this test and this video so i'll see y'all again peace